Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to Blunt Sagittarius. My name is Robin, and Sagi, today we're just going to do a general love reading, baby. We're going to find out what's going on with you in love, what's taking place, what you can expect in the next couple weeks. So let's talk about you and love and see what's going on in your love life. Spirit guides, what's up with Sagittarius' love life right now? What can they expect? Cassette, outdated thinking, and replaying events in your head. All right. Let's see what that's all about here. It looks like you might be replaying something about, let's see. I'm not going to speculate till we get the cards out here, Sag. So let's talk about you. Spirit guys, what's going on with Sag? What is this? And Sag, I do want to announce that I'm doing a contest right now. So my channel has hit 20,000 subs. So my way of saying thank you, showing my appreciation to all of you for your support and kind words is to have a contest and give away free readings. That's what I do here at Blunt Sagi. So if you want to enter my contest, just like, comment, subscribe, get yourself entered on February the 15th. I will be replying to the winners, but I will also post them in the community section. So if you think you won, pop over to the community section. Don't let any scammers get a hold of your, and it's free, so there's no money involved. <laughs> but if you want to enter, you know what to do. Let's get into your reading. We have the Queen of Swords, we have the Devil, we have the Strength, and we have the Four of Cups. So I definitely see the Five of Cups, yep. But look at this, things are turning around. The world and the Page of Pentacles here. <laughs> Very clear. And one more card here for Sag, and let's get into this. Two of Pentacles in reverse, and there's death. Ooh -wee. It's definitely time to end um, this cycle with somebody. So it's time to break yourself free from whatever this person was. There's someone from your past here. You could be replaying an argument or just replaying things about them, hoping things will change. I'm not sure what that is, but there's an unhealthy thought pattern attached to the past. It's time to cut that out. It's time to gain control of your thoughts and move forward and understand that you deserve better than whatever happened back there. This is about facing that shadow and opening the curtain and seeing that there's something way better for you and it's coming. See this page of pentacles? This is the buck from the past. Just put her hand on that. Boom. I'm done with that. I'm done thinking about you. I'm done thinking about what you did or how you hurt me. Whatever they did, it is time to face that. Cut out that, you know, the snake from the past here. Look at the snake. It doesn't look very nice, but it's time to cut that person out and have the courage to move forward. So they definitely want you to withdraw your thoughts. Stop thinking about this person. Stop focusing on this Stop. I don't, I, it could be just a person or a situation, but they definitely don't want you to let this weigh you down anymore. The reason I say that is because there's new love coming through. It is time for a new cycle. It is time to recognize what's coming here in the near future. And you don't want anything from the past to affect what's coming through. Sudden change. <laughs> the Tower and the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Wands. So there you are, Sag, in your element, in your power, um, feeling sexy, smelling good, looking good, catching the people of attention. It might catch you off guard. Maybe you're, ooh, the king and the queen of wands. So somebody just as attractive as you is coming through. <laughs> someone just as charismatic. Someone, it could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. But we got a really strong connection here. We got dreams, fulfillment, wish come true with the tower. This is, um, it's like maybe you're not even looking for love. Maybe it's like running to this person or something. But um, releasing the past is bringing in something special here. So... Tell us about this page of pentacles. Tell us about this king of wands. But you got to release that. Tell us about this page of pentacles. Is there anything else? Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Literally. It's time to release that past because you have new love coming through. The longer you're holding on to the wrong person, the longer it takes for the new person or a right person to come through here. So you got a really strong, intense connection coming through. Um, and take the bull by the horns and go after this baby. Because um, the past is the past. The future is coming through. They want you to take, the, they want you to go with this person. What is the two of pentacles in reverse here? Eight of wands. And there's the fool. Wow. So wheel of, for, and success. Wow. And the king of, there's, okay. There's you being single, <laughs> getting attention from people. I don't feel you've been paying attention to it, but someone's about to catch your attention here. Um, all in divine timing, but they definitely want you to release the past so you're not projecting anything into this present or preventing it. A new cycle is upon you, Sag. True love's coming through. Okay, I say true love because there's the king and the queen of wands, but there's a strong interaction with this person. There's going to be a lot of talking, a lot of communicating, a lot of messaging. You're going to be getting a lot of attention from this person um, because, like, look at this person. So put your hands on the past. It's time to put the, ignore that and pay attention to what's in front of you, which is this king of wands or queen of wands coming through here. I feel like that was really short, <laughs> but let's get some Oracle messages and see what they want to say. And then we'll get your potential outcome with this person. But, um, it's time to cut out the past because your future has arrived. 
What does Sag need to surrender to here, spirit guides? Inner peace, yeah. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet, meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too, and your life will flow more easily. And surrender comparisons with other people. Keep your eyes trained on yourself and focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power. Let's get the caring connection between you and this new person. Spirit guides, what's the connection between Sag and this new person? Obstacles. Look for ways around the obstacles to find your happiness. So you got to overcome the past <laughs> and not project it into the present. This is what I feel like they're trying to say here. Um, what is the energy oracle message? What do you want to say to Sag here? Yeah, angel of strength. And cornucopia and contract. That past person was a karmic contract. So there was a lesson meant to learn from that person. And hopefully you have learned it. Um, so that you can move forward with an open heart. They want you to have the strength and courage. Like, look at this cornucopia. This is about abundance. This is about happiness. This person's going to bring some real joy in your life. Maybe you guys will take it. They could be another Sag like yourself. You know, you just can have a lot of fun. They just make you forget about the past, allow you to move forward. But they're going to transform your life and change things here. And they want you to have the courage to see this person. Look at this lion. Nothing is stopping this guy from getting what he wants. And I kind of feel like, because the king and queen of wands are very intense. So it's going to be a very strong and intense and instant connection with this person. Um, and there's a lot of love to be had. This is all about abundance. <laughs> so you got an intense connection coming through with someone who's going to make a big difference in your life. Um, and it's time to let go of whatever happened in the past here. Well, let's see what you want to let go of. And then we're going to get back to the tarot. What does Sag need to let go of, spirit guides? If you have a problem, you have an opportunity. Uh, so let go of blame. So if you're blaming yourself or if you're blaming that person, just remember they were a lesson. They were a soul contract. So learn what you were supposed to learn. But like I, but actually I didn't say this, but you don't see this new change coming because she's blindfolded, right? Because she's still focusing on that. So once you take the blindfold off, you got some beautiful blessings coming your way. What else do you want to say to Sagittarius here before we get their potential outcome? Spirit guides? you're waiting for is on its way yeah look at that you might be tired there's a chariot so it's time to invest in yourself and it's time to move forward this chariot's all about overcoming external obstacles for success so your ships are about to come through um you're about to have someone real special in your life here there's the five of swords and the eight of cups and it's time to walk away from the hostilities or the frustrations from the past so that you can see the future because your future has arrived okay Let's get your potential outcome, Sag. So when I say potential, there is always free will. You're going to make the choices you're going to make. And when I say potential, where are you in a month from when you've met this person? Because I feel like it's going to be quite an intense connection between you and this person. There will be a major attraction here. So what's the potential outcome, Spirit Guides? Where's Sag and this person a month after they meet? Is there any hiccups? Is there any obstacles? Is there anything we need to know? What do you want to say? What do you want to say? Wow. I think we have two twos here. We do. We have the two of pentacles. We have the two of cups. We have the queen of pentacles. What else do you want to say? The ten of cups. On the bottom, we have the moon. <laughs> There's fears, though. There's the queen of wands. Um, <clears throat> well, you weathered the storm of the past, and like I said, your ships are coming in. This guy stands strong. He's not letting these obstacles get him down. He knows his happiness is on the way, and it is. There's a very strong connection with you with this person, but I also feel like there's a friendship. So it's someone that you can talk to, someone you can open up to, someone that you can trust, you know? You can sit there by on the bench feeding the birds and talk about your life, talk about the past. Um, I, there's a very strong a connection, you guys. Maybe you're both very spiritual or you enjoy talking about the mysteries, but I just see like two people <laughs> just up at night, all night talking, just cha 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 cha. Let's get to know each other. You know, you've had similar experiences. There's a lot of there's a lot of transformation in your life. This will be very stable. So they're going to be stable and you're going to be stable. So it's a, there's a very stable energy here. So just remember not to let any of your fears come through. Um, don't project the past. Tame any kind of desire that you have for that. There's that strength again um, because this is a strong, strong connection. Um, but the Ten of Cups is about being in a committed relationship. So things will move quickly. You've weathered the storm. The storm's done. This person brings a sense of peace into your life and a sense of calmness. 
um, and you're going to really enjoy talking to them because I just see these people talking. <laughs> so you and this person have a lot to talk about. Um, besides just what I have, you're in a good place. You have an intense connection coming through, but it's not just physical. It's emotional. Like it's a friendship as well as passion, which is really nice. It's a good balance. This person will balance you out. Um, so that's what I have. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you like my style and if you want to enter that contest, you know what to do. I hope you have, I hope you have fun with this person. Let's get your final message here. Spirit guides, you can do this. And if you can't do this today, you'll do it tomorrow because you're not a failure. So channel this phrase 10 times today. Today and every day, I am free from self-doubt and self-sabotage. Don't let that past person affect the present because you got a good connection coming through. I truly wish you the best of luck, Saj. Until next time.